My name is Ricky Skerritt. I'm the Minister of Tourism for St. Kitts in the, in the Caribbean. And I'm here as part of the delegation that's come to try to develop some more business for our tourism industry in St. Kitts. And you have some announcements. Can you tell me what's going on with Christoph Harbour and the development there, its value, and what can we can expect from St. Kitts in that area? Well, late last year we announced a really exciting project on 2,500 acres in the Southeast Peninsula, which is a relatively unspoilt and very pristine and beautiful area of St. Kitts. And it involves um, two small uh, upmarket uh, luxury and uh, hotels and some residences, Mandarin Oriental and Auberge. It involves a golf course, a Tom Fazio golf course. Uh, Tom himself has said that this is going to be one of his better products. And uh, it involves a, a marina which will have 40 slips for, for mega yachts. Really exciting project, but it's going to be done with relative low density and very environmentally compatible. So a lot of studying and, and preparation has been going on for the last two years. And we are very excited about this project. It's going to help to, I think it's going to help to really cement Senkits on the world map of tourism. So what, what, do you, what do you see it will do in terms of like putting the word out there for St. Kitts, this kind of element? Because it seems quite high end and, and, and it will attract a certain kind of tourist? Yes, well we, we, we have said that our strategy is based on people, the environment, heritage and stakeholder cooperation. That is kind of the direction we're going. This project uh, symbolizes all of that and it, and it brings um, sustainable tourism into focus, um, including uh, using the latest and, and most proven technology in alternative energy and in creating and, and, and rebuilding ecosystems for, for animal life and, and plant life. And it's, it's, it's an area that has traditionally been undeveloped. So it's an opportunity to, to do things properly and to prove that tourism can be integrated with people and the environment and genuinely have sustainable tourism. We're very, very committed to achieving sustainable tourism through this project. And moving on, airlift, what have we what have we got coming online, what's recently come online and what's going to do for the St. Kitts tourism product? In November we started a direct, non-stop, twice weekly service, American Airlines, JFK, St. Kitts, St. Kitts, JFK, which has gone very, very well to date. Next month we start a similar service, Delta, Atlanta, St. Kitts, St. Kitts, Atlanta. Um, we already have a daily service from Miami. From the UK, we're still doing just one weekly service with Excel. It's an area that we want to pay some more attention to as we build some more product. A lot of the residences side of the development of the peninsula involves uh, second homes for, for uh, customers in the UK. So that will help to drive airlift as well. There's, there's a greater demand coming out of the UK and we're going to try to pay a little more attention to building our tourism relations with the UK in the future. How do you think you'll do that? What do you think is the appeal there? Do you think it's music festivals, sports, tourism? How do you expect to get more people into St. Kitts in the UK, for example? Well, it's all of the above, but we are going after the luxury end of the market. We want to position St. Kitts as a, a, an unspoiled, high quality island genuine Caribbean island with, with the kind of, of, of escape but still with modern amenities, high quality products, uh, accessible and at the same time we have an excellent sports tourism product. We have the MCC is touring St. Kitts in, 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 in over Easter. We have uh, two or three other cricket teams coming around the same time. We've, we, we have a good history of, of uh, sports tourism with the UK that's strengthening. And we have Australia coming to St. Kitts for two one-day games against the West Indies, July 4th and 6th. And there are a lot of Aussies who live in, live in London and a lot of English people who love to see good cricket. So we know that we're going to get a, a, quite a good turnout in, in uh, June and July for the Aussie tour of the Caribbean. 
and um, you know our music festival end of June uh, always attracts especially Kittitians and Nivisions and friends and family who live in in the UK and and so this tr the relations with the UK are, are traditional and we, we're going to strengthen them. And the last question, what do you think is the major challenges going forward for St Kitts, do you think, in the tourism arena, especially with the US economy on the downturn, for example? Sixty percent of our visitors come from the US, so clearly that is a concern to us. Most of them are in the luxury end of the market, and, and, and so it's, it, the impact is not as big there. But clearly, travel from the US is a concern right now, and long-haul travel in general, because of the increase in cost of fuel, because of... Uh, the accessibility uh, is a problem. Um, one big issue in the Caribbean, though, which you will find everywhere, for regional, is the capacity uh, results in uh, undersupply. There's more demand for travel across the Caribbean than there is supply. And, and so airlift is an issue right now everywhere in the Caribbean. Thanks very much.